In this video we're going to learn how to test the visibility state of our menu panel so we can show or hide the menu as appropriate when there is interaction. Okay so now we're going to set up some conditional logic on the menu button click to decide whether to show or hide the menu. How are we going to do this? Well we need to test a condition in order to do this i.e. is the menu visible? If menu not visible, show menu. If menu is visible, hide menu. Now, you'll notice that I've used the words show and hide, whereas before we weren't strictly speaking showing or hiding the menu. The menu was visible and we were moving it into place. But now we're going to use the visibility property of the menu panel to test our logic. We could test the location of the menu, but this approach is a little easier than testing the location because it's in different locations across our adaptive views. So to be clear, when the menu icon is clicked, we're going to set the menu panel to show, then move it into place. When we want to hide the menu, we'll need to move it out of the viewport before we hide it. So the first thing we need to do because the initial state of our menu is hidden is hide the menu in the appropriate views. So in the base or small view, let's hide the menu panel. We can see the medium view has inherited this hidden setting. To the large view where actually we want our menu to be visible at all times. So we're going to set that to visible by unchecking this. back to our base view. Now we are going to go to our menu button in the header panel. We're going to add a condition to the onclick event we created earlier. But first let's add a description to this case. Show menu. This practice of naming cases really helps you keep things clear in your head. Now we'll open the condition builder. We want to test if the menu panel is visible. So, if visibility of widget menu dynamic panel equals false. Okay, so we've set up our condition. If visibility of menu equals false, move the menu. But wait there, this isn't right because our panel is hidden by default. It's not simply a case of moving it. So we'll add a show action to the menu panel. This action is defaulted to show. No animation is required. Now, look at our organized actions dialog. You'll see the order of the actions is wrong. Currently, the move action is triggered first, followed by a show action. We want this to be the other way around. So it moves into the visible area of the viewport. Uh, you can select move action up from the context menu or you can drag and drop. Click OK. Next click add case. We're going to add our hide menu case. Give it a name. Hide menu. Click add condition. And this time we want to test if visibility of widget menu equals true. OK. So our condition is if visibility of menu equals true. First, we want to move the menu back into place. Move menu. And we want to reverse the move action we set up on the showcase. So we want to move menu by... 250 pixels in the x-axis. We want to animate this linear. We'll set the time to 500 milliseconds. Next we want to hide the menu but we don't want to do it immediately. You may be under the false impression that because we set an animation to run for 500 milliseconds Axia will wait for this to expire before it executes the next action. Unfortunately not. We have to explicitly set a wait action to permit the animation we just fired to run its course. So we need to set up a wait action to wait the 500 milliseconds our animation is going to take. Then hide the menu. 
and we need to change this from the default of show to hide this time this one can catch you out if you're not careful okay let's see how this works press F5 great let's see it in the different views okay so we've got a menu we can slide out and slide in again but we're not out of the woods yet let's try and navigate okay we've got problems because it would be a pretty poor user experience if you have to close the menu after you've navigated to another page we'll pick this up in the next video